Hey guys, welcome to Smith City's Cooking Adventures. I'm your host, Smith City. New segment, uh, we're going to cook a variation of a Gordon Ramsay dish I've seen on YouTube. It's a Mexican brunch dish. Um, I've opted to not use tortillas. Um, I've added chorizo and um, I'm going to have it on some sourdough bread. So let's get cooking. So the ingredients you'll need to, to buy is a red onion, uh, some crushed or diced tomato, I've got some garlic, I've got some cheese that I can grate over the top of it, I've got some chorizo, so I'm just going to use one stick for this, a green chilli, some cumin, Oops, wrong way. Uh, six eggs I'm going to use and some nice sourdough bread that I got from Baker's Delight. So we'll get cooking. All right, so what I've done is I've uh, roughly chopped the onions. I've chopped the garlic. I've also chopped the chili seeds in, the chorizo, and I've just put these uh, in the sink with a colander and washed away the liquid that was on them and they will then obviously take on a lot of the absorption in the cooking process and will taste really nice. So I put some olive oil in the pan, I've chucked the chilli, the garlic and the red onion in there. I'm now, now going to go in with the chorizo. You can cut it up a little bit finer, it's entirely up to you. And we'll get a little bit of colour on that. Whilst that's happening, I'm going to add some cumin. I'm just going to roughly put a little bit in. Just going to stir that all around. We'll now go in with some black pepper. I love black pepper, so use as much as or as little as you like. If I was to do this again, I'd probably put the chorizo in at the start uh, before I start putting everything else in, just so they can crisp up a little bit. But what's done is done. So I'm going to put the tin tomatoes in, full tin. Mix that around. I won't add salt until I do the egg part, just because I think the chorizo will probably be um, salty enough. Alright, and then that, as that's going, I'm going to chuck in the black beans. And we'll just let that go for a little bit. Just giving it a little taste to see if it needs anything. Probably does need a little bit of salt. I've turned the heat down a little bit, not too much. I didn't want the sauce, the sauce base to uh, start catching on the pan. So now to the next step. As you can see here, I have an oven dish. I've just put a little bit of olive oil around it. Um, you can use any size you want, really. I just grabbed whatever I had. So I'm gonna use this and get it all in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to now create little indentations with one egg. Obviously, we're doing three. So just push down, creating a little divot for each egg to sit into. And then we're going to start cracking. Just gently place them, trying to keep the eggs intact as much as possible. If, if they break, they break. You know, there is nothing worse when that happens, but it is what it is. Sometimes it just can't be helped. So 
So this is where I'm going to add some more salt. Now this probably would serve maybe three people, four people. I'm not too sure what the calories are. I, honestly, I don't care. I'll be probably eating this uh, for today's big break, uh, brunch because I haven't ha eaten anything so far today. And then I'll have some the other half of it probably tomorrow for breakfast. So just one moment. Put some more salt on there. Generous amount of pepper. I've got the oven set to 180. I'm just going to put it on the, in there until the eggs are cooked. And as you can see, one of the eggs there has started to uh, come away from the yolk, but it is what it is. It'll still taste good. Now with the eggs cooking, I've just added some of that cheese. I just grated it onto a plate and sprinkled it over the top. Would you have a look at this? Oh, I'm so impressed. I'm going to transfer that onto that. Just added the final touch of chili flakes. And there you have it, variation of Mexican breakfast by Gordon Ramsay. And seeing as I can't be trusted not spilling stuff on myself, I've got a tea towel. Let's just see what the egg does here. Aha, oh, perfect. I'll let you know my thoughts. Mm. That is super, super tasty. The only thing I'd do differently, which I spoke about in the video at the start, is I'd probably fry off the trezo before I put everything else in. Um, other than that, top notch. Happy with that. Let me know what you think of this uh, recipe.